Deputy Education Minister John Intim Fodjo had been making a case for increased funding to help intensify climate change education, especially in Ghana. Mr. Intim Fodjo says it has become crucial Ghana's education system uh, pay attention to the devastating effect of it so children can appreciate it from an early stage. The Deputy Education Minister is leading the uh, sector delegation in an ongoing UN climate change conference in Glasgow. He's been speaking to my colleague Seth Kwamboati. So thanks for your time, Honorable John and Tim uh, Fodjo. Um, you are here at the ongoing UN Climate Change Conference on behalf of your ministry. And what exactly have you been doing here? Uh, thank you, Seth. We are participating, the education delegation is participating in COP26 um, to share ideas, to share international best practice and to heighten advocacy climate change education and to re-emphasize our commitment and pledge as a government to ensuring that we put in resilient policies and we commit to the implementation of sustainable policies that will ensure that vulnerability, various vulnerabilities that we see when whenever there's climate actions are mitigated to a large extent. You know, sometimes people wonder what gravitas education has with climate change. But said whenever there is an international emergency, whether it is health crisis, global health pandemic, Ebola, um, COVID-19, or climate-induced disasters, education is the hardest hit. When there are disasters and, and international emergencies, like um, if, when, when there are flats and schools are closed, when there are landslides and children have to be prevented from going to school, when there are storms that affect the roofs and foundations of buildings, school buildings, or even community buildings, and people are displaced. It is kids of school going age that are most affected, and in particular, young girls, adolescent girls, and kids living with disability. So oftentimes it takes about three months at the, at the earliest to about a year to get children to get back to school when they are affected by climate-induced disasters. And so it is important that we realize the, how critical the situation is. We must all be concerned about climate actions because the impacts of climate change impacts directly on education. Yeah, when the president came to this pavilion on, was it Tuesday? Uh, I think Tuesday, he was particular about how we can get Ghanaians to appreciate the impact of climate change and get them to set up and uh, engage in activities that will not um, f contribute negatively to uh, Western environment from the education sector from here. How are we going to get our teachers to appreciate it so that they can pass this on to, to the students that we are teaching? Yeah, so, for instance, as a ministry, we are very much committed to education for sustainable development for 2030. We have inculcated various aspects of climate change education in our curriculum, particularly at the pre-tertiary level. So we are ensuring that we are introducing concepts of climate change in all levels of learning, giving adequate training to our teachers. We have partnered as Minister of Education, we have partnered EPA in a project that we call Sustainability Starts from School. So with these approaches and with these commitments, we are ensuring that we heighten climate change education at all levels. And we, are, we, are, we believe that climate change education must be science-based and must be gender responsive particularly considering the fact that m more young ladies are affected by, um, by climate change induced disasters. When there are such disasters and children have to return to school, oftentimes data has it that many more girls get pregnant and for other social cultural reasons are not able to return to school. And so we're, we're putting a lot of these girls into STEM and we are encouraging them and we are ensuring that we inculcate in them the concept of climate change. As we are educating them to heighten awareness of climate change, they themselves are also part of the solution to the global action 